Hello, welcome to another edition of Super Supply Saturday at djsundry.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk about a product that is actually pretty new to me, and that product is called Sticky Back Canvas. Now, um, I purchased this for a class that I signed up to take, and I haven't been able to do the class yet, um, but I have been using this canvas, and I really like it. This particular um, is the Claudine Helmuth um, by Ranger, and it comes in 12 by 12 sheets. This um, package had five sheets of canvas in it, and I have just found so many fun things that you can do with them. So um, right now I don't have any projects posted on the blog with this, but I have been using it, and there's a project coming up this week. Be looking, and you'll see something that I've made with it. Let's just um, look at some things that it can do. Um, the the main thing that I've done with it is this is a um, alterations die that I ran through my cuddle bug. Now it's actually a Tim Holtz alterations Sizzix big die, but it fit in my cuddle bug. And I started by running um, a piece of chipboard through, and then I ran a piece of sticky back canvas through, and I actually this is another part that comes on that die. And um, then I peeled off the back and adhered it to the chipboard. I did that on both of these pieces. Then I took um, some Distress Ink. This is the Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And I inked around the edges with it. I didn't really care for how the um, bottom was white. And I was kind of playing with it and I didn't really have any black paint and I thought well you could paint it if you wanted to but I didn't have any black paint so I found a re-inker for my black Excelsior stamp pad that I have and I um, poured some out on my craft mat and using a paintbrush I actually painted the bottom part of it with my um, re-inking ink so um, it it takes ink very very well and then what I did is I just took my fingernail like this and kind of roughed up the edges to give it that use that old vintage um, dress form distress look and um, it was so easy to do and the sticky back canvas worked great I did the same thing on the button um, inked around the edges although not quite as dark as I did on there then I kind of distressed the edges with my fingernail actually I think I didn't distress this one much ran some twine through it and I had a really kind of an old looking button. So another thing that I learned about the sticky back canvas is it also stamps beautifully. Here's um, some stamps that I have from Candor Designs and I um, stamped a message on it and then I distressed around the edges. So it handles ink really well and then on the back this piece hasn't been adhered to anything yet and you just peel off the backing and you can put it to your project. You could put it on a card. You could um, put it on other um, projects that you have, um, however you want to use it. And so today, um, Super Supply Saturday is all about sticky back canvas. Now, I did have a bit of a difficult time finding this. I went to three or four different craft stores and couldn't find it. Either I didn't know where to look or they didn't have it. I looked in both where they keep the regular canvas. I looked in um, the scrapbooking supplies and I couldn't find it. And I finally was able to find it online. So if you don't um, find it in your craft stores, don't give up. Just look online and just um, Google sticky back canvas or Ranger products or go to your favorite scrapbooking supply and you can find it. So thanks for watching. I hope this encourages you to go out and try um, and see what fun projects you can make using sticky back canvas. Have a great day. Bye.